to our today's episode. Today we'll be looking at numbers. In our previous lesson, we talked about consonants and vowels. And if you want to ask, I hope you enjoyed the previous lessons. Please try to put your comment and any observation, and you can ask more questions, and they will be attended to. Thank you. Today, as I said earlier, we are looking at numbers. When we are doing the previous lessons. We have mentioned about 36, 38, 5, and all that. And you'll be like, what is this numbers we are about to be more? Yeah, today we are going to talk about it. Numbers in Nimbo is known as Ono Ogogo. Ono Ogogo. Like numbers you already know, there are some cardinal numbers in Nimbo that we are using that you already know. And those numbers is what we are going to look at. But before we start measuring this number, we'll start from zero. Some people can recognize it. Zero. Zero can be Mukiti. Mukiti. Or you call it F. And that one, one. We know one. One is O2. When it's coming to numbers, we may just say O2. But when we are trying to use it on persons, we call it Mbo. We call it Mbo. We have tens. One start from the tens is iri. We have hundred. What do you call hundred? We call hundred nari. Hundred is known as what nari. And thousand is known as what uku. Million is known as inde. Billion is known as Ijeri. Yeah, this is the first set you have to know. Now, these are the numbers, um, the main numbers you have to know. Nine, hundred, Puku, thousand, million, in the Ijeri, billion. Now, let's go to the cardinal numbers that is being used. I'm writing in English and in Igbo. These are the numbers Igbo. Beke is known as English. Beke is known as what? English. Please don't forget. O2. 1. Abo. 2. Ato. 3. And now, four. He said five. He see six. Asa seven. Asa two. It's Ito Nine. This is some can call it Ite Ite, but the one that is easier for you to pronounce is Ito If you call it Ite Ite, you are not mistaken, you are right, but the one that is easier for you to pronounce is Ito Remember, our N is for you to speak in the space of three months. Nine. And last. Every ten. Now we are going to decide the numbers. From these numbers, I will now tell you how to start with your 11, 12, 13, and thereabouts. One, O oh, two. Two are four. Three are tall. Four and no. Five is say. Six is C. Seven is Sam. Eight is Sato. Nine is Tolu. Ten is Re. That's good. Now, when you want to count 11, you'll be like, what is 11? Yes. 11. The easiest way for you to count 11 in Igbo 
is you know 10 plus 1 will give you 11. What is 10? 10 is known as a ring. And plus here, plus we are going to use the people doesn't have the word plus. Plus means umbako. This is umbako. The word we use in read um, um, addition is and. And and is in Igbo is known as na. So we are going to do 10 plus 1. Now this this place where there is plus, we are going to substitute it na. So you look at what 10 is in Igbo. You put na. You put the dollar number, you get the word. At 11, remember, we use the word 10 plus 1 will give you 11. Now, I want to call this 11 in Igbo. What do you do? What is 10? Remember, what 10 is what? Iri. And for plus, we use na. Na is a conjunction word that drives this 10 and 1. And that is na. O2. What if I want to go to? So it never now become Irina O2. I want to do your job. It's the same thing. Irina O. Get in. Irina O. 14. Irina O. 15. Irina O. Ise. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Irina is C. Now we want to count 20. Ask yourself how many tens make up 20? How many tens make up 20? It's two tens. 10 plus 10. Now you go like, okay, so we are going to write iri na iri. Yeah, you may be right somehow, but at the same time, they are wrong. In this, we want to get 20. We have to remove this plus marker, the plus sign. 10, just write two tens. What is 10 in Igbo? 10 is known as Iri. How many are they? They are two. So you now, like since it's 10, you now write Iri. How many are they? They are two. You now have Iri about 20. If you want to write 30, you write how many tens make up 30? 10, 3 tens. What is 10 in Igbo? Iri. How many are they? They are three. Iri are two. You want to write 40. Want to write 40? How many tens make up 40? There are four. And what is 10 in Igbo? 10 is known as Iri. How many are there? There are four. Iri are no. 50. 50. Five ten. What is 10 in Igbo? Iri. How many are there? There are five. You read say. So you see it now. This is the way to form 30. Now let's write it. You read above 20. Now we now want to make 21 and thereabouts. You have you, 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 the same method you use for 11, 10 plus 1. The same method you're going to use for 20 plus 1. But remember, you're not going to use it when you want to get 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. But 100, 100, don't forget, 100 is known as Nairi. Now, want to get 21, ask yourself, 20 plus 1. What is 20 here? 20 is known as what? Iria Boom. And the plus marker, we say that we are using what? Na, as a conjunction word. Na, what is 1? O2. And that become area born no to 21, area born no to 22, area born na born 23, area born na to 24, area born na no 25, area born ni say 26, area born ni say 27, area born as at 28, area born as at 29, area born in total 30, area born.
don't forget that the real top forty if we are not fifty if we say and so so we now get to fifty five so what what is fifty five so just just do simple arithmetic fifty plus five fifty is not what it really say and the plus marker there is now and what is it say five it really say me say do you get it is this not easy now We've learned this one now. We've actually got 200. 100. The way you pronounce 100 is different from the way you pronounce 200, and it's different from the way you pronounce 300. Just all the 1, 1, 1, 100, 1,000, 1 million, 1 million, 1 trillion, whatever. You first call the number, the, uh, the digits, they are on 1 before the, um, the words. For instance, 100. If you want to call this one now, call one. Do you remember what you said? One hundred. So I'm going to call this label. You call it the same thing. O two. What is one? O two. Hundred nine. But when it comes to two hundred to infinity, you don't say two hundred. You are writing two hundred. Now, when you want to write this one, will not, the hundred will be first. The two. Now the second. Are you getting it? Now it now become nine and one. The hundred will not be the first. The two will not be the second. The same thing with three hundred. Three hundred. The hundred nine. The atom three. Same thing with thousand. If it's one thousand, the one will always come before. What you pronounce is one thousand. So what is one? O two. What is thousand? Puku. O two puku. When it's two, two thousand. What is, you said? Two thousand. What is stars and puku? The puku will not take the first place. Two will not take the second place. Puku and poor, puku and tall, puku and now. Now when I say 50,565, I want to call it Nibo. What do you call? 50,000. Puku iri ise. Remember, 50 is iri ise. Puku is what thousand. So if you do full arithmetic, say fifty thousand. Thousand come first or fifty before. Fifty thousand. Puku you really say now we come to five hundred. Now you pronounce five hundred. The hundred comes before the five hundred. Before the five. And I say nine. He say in this way, nah. What is sixty? He read, he see, now, he see. So now become 50,565. Now become, who he read, he say, now he say, now he say. So you see the way we got to the numbers. If you in thousands, in billions, you wow. always write it down for easy pronunciation so you don't make mistakes. Even some people that can, this can be a guide for someone that is trying for his amigo exam. You just write the numbers out, then call it. Up, then this is easier. So you send to me one that you want to make one than one, one than two. Don't forget the first method. Have 100 plus one, then the O2 line and O2. 202 na abo na God bless you. Thank you. And this will bring us to the end of today's class. I know that you've learned one or two things. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification bell to follow us for preparing for our subsequent classes. And I'm waiting for your comments. Thank you.